Man, I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. These motherfucking deities, bro. Like the Orishas, nigga. Like the motherfucking primordial beings. All these gods from these other different damn religions. Maybe except Buddha. The reason I don't think, like I said, I don't think that Buddha is a demon. Technically, Buddha is an idol. Because niggas are worshiping a power outside themselves. But I wouldn't call him a de demon. But I need to do my own discernment on that. But all these other fucking gods. From all these other religions and all that other shit I just mentioned. They're the fucking fallen angels, y'all. They are the fucking fallen angels. They are the ones that rebel against the true divine creator. And they are the ones that want to be praised. They're the ones that want to be worshipped, nigga. They're the ones that are fucking got niggas under spells. All, all, all other types of shit, y'all. I'm telling y'all, these motherfuckers is the fallen angels, bro. Then there be the ones that worship these motherfucking demons. Like my mom, nigga. Like, I think my mother's worshiping this, the, one of these demons, bro. Now she ain't doing voodoo or none of that shit. But she like, oh, thank the Lord. Oh, thank God, Jesus. Blah, 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 blah for this and that. And then she tried to force her ideologies on me. I'm like, hell no, nah, nigga. We don't worship the same. We don't worship the same creator. Nigga, you worshiping creation. I'm worshiping the creator. So that's the differences between us. You feel me? And all these motherfuckers who's worshiping these demons and they know there's the people that don't know that they're worshiping these motherfucking evil spirits of the earth. Then they're ones that know they're worshiping the evil spirits of the earth. I don't care if they're the powers that be. I don't care if they're random people that just look like me and you or poor people, rich people. I don't give a fuck what they are. They ain't got no damn color. But I'm telling y'all, this is a message for the ones that are worshiping these damn entities. And you know they're demons. I'm going to tell you one thing, bro. You better turn from your evil and your wicked ways. Because if you don't, yo ass, you're going to follow these damn demons to the grave. And I'm going to tell you what's going to happen to, you, to your ass. Your ass going to get e sent to the underworld. Eternal darkness, nigga. The first damn dimension. That's where you niggas going to go. And you're going to become them damn demons. But you don't want to listen to me? You want to keep doing your evil shit? Eat, doing your evil and your dirty deeds? Go ahead. This is a message for the niggas in the conscious community too. I'll talk to you bitch ass niggas too. The ones that know that they serving demons. I'm not talking about the miners and stuff that don't know nothing. They're easily manipulated. But I'm telling y'all bro, this is why you gotta use your own discernment, bro. Then there's other niggas that are claiming that, oh yeah, I'm a demon. I'm a fallen angel. Like, nigga, how do you know that shit? Is it because these other niggas told you and you ain't and you're not smart enough or you're not competent to use your own discernment? Like, come on, man. I'm about to be getting on you, mother. I'm about to be on your asses like white on rice, bro. Because I'm not playing this year, nigga. I'm not playing during the spring equinox. I'm going to speak my motherfucking truth, nigga. Ain't no spells, black magic. Ain't no, nobody's going to stop me from speaking the truth. I'm going to tell you that. 100% bro but you guys gotta be careful who the fuck you following on this damn internet because there's a lot of wolves in sheep's clothing in this bitch a lot of damn false prophets deceivers you get what I mean even the bible talk about it you feel me and one thing I'm gonna say before I leave is so people do not get this message misconstrued so people do not um so there's no miscommunications or misinterpretations going on. I never said that worshiping your ancestors or your loved ones that passed away like grandpa, grandma, mom, dad, cousin. I never said that worshiping your ancestors was evil. Okay. So there's no miscommunications going on. So nobody's making false accusations against me. What I'm trying to say is you sh be be look, because I'll admit it, my family, you know, up north, you know what I'm saying? They pay homage to the ancestors on their birthdays. But the only wrong things that they do is they put alcohol, alcohol, that flesh eating spirit, those spirits in their body. Then they eat low vibrational food that fucks up their vessel. But they're Christian and they still pay homage to the ancestors on their birthday. Like my grandpa and my uncles and all them niggas. You feel me? Much respect to them. But what I'm trying to say is, what my point is, why worship 
these so-called primordial beings or these Orishas that you know nothing about. My nigga, like, that's equivalent, equivalent to praying to Jesus. I'm saying praying to the Orishas, uh, goddamn primordial beings is like praying to Jesus. It's because you know nothing about them and you never even met these entities. You feel what I'm saying? Like, why would you worship an entity or a deity that you've never even met in your life? Like, come on, man. How smart? Come on, y'all. How smart does that sound? That doesn't even sound smart at all. If you honestly ask me. But, you know, that's all I had to say. So I'm going to show you guys RS's video and what he said about the Orises. And one thing before I leave is, like, technically, when you're praying to a power outside yourself, I don't care if it's Lucifer, Satan, all these other deities, technically, like RS said, technically, you're selling your soul to these deities. Technically, you're letting them use your eternal energy to use it for whatever the fuck they want to use it for. It might be something good. It may be something evil. But when these niggas in the spiritual community were telling me to worship the Orishas, something in my mind, my consciousness, higher self or God, was telling me to make this video. The, the, my higher self told me to make this video. And you want to know what uh, the other thing my higher self told me? It said, nigga, don't you give your motherfucking power to these damn Orishas. Don't give your power to none of these motherfucking strangers. Because they are going to drain your eternal energy by using crystal balls and these motherfucking Orishas in every damn video. And that's what happened to me. I've experienced this shit myself. Like they was doing witchcraft on my bit on my on, on my bitch ass. They bitch ass was doing fucking witchcraft and sorcery and evil shit. These motherfucking wizards and witches, man. So that's why I'm exposing their ass right now. You feel me? But that's all I gotta say. But I'm out. Peace. They are lost. I'm seeing all of them niggas is kind of lost because they are selling. Look, Alman Seen gives me the vibes from your explanation about this nigga. He's going to Satan or this shit, and da, 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 you know, siding with those deities outside of them. You feel me? That is a version of them selling their soul. They sold their soul to that deity. So if they both go in there, then shit. Shit will happen to them and perplex them into their own self-awareness. Where they start to reflect on themselves. I'm a highly reflective, introspective person. Most people would think that reflecting is not really cool. They don't want to go back and look back at the things, you know. But in order to change those habits and 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 change those things that they don't like about themselves to evolve themselves thoroughly. Okay, so most of these niggas. I'm telling you, they sold their soul to a deity, not to with the elites or any of that shit. They still don't fuck with the elites. That we got. That is where we all got in common, right? Even though we didn't sold our soul to a damn deity, niggas that pray to a Orisha is literally using a third party to connect to source. They're using a third party to connect to source. They are not utilizing a direct connection. They're using an indirect connection, meaning they have to use somebody else that is connected to source type shit in order to, for them to connect to source, right? So they're utilizing third parties to do that shit. You feel me? And they only solely doing that shit, and they make a deal with that person, that deity, or that Orisha. You feel me? Right? And once they do that, um, how do I put it? How do I put it? Once they do that, um, they, they basically make a deal with them saying that all the deity wants to do is experience life again, experience the physical again. So they give them in exchange of spiritual currency and what they want 
they allow them to jump their bodies and take a hold of their bodies and possess their energy and, and captivate their vessel, right? And utilize that. Not, not all the time, but here and there most of the time, basically. And, and they could take advantage of you at that. If you run out of spiritual currency, you know what happens? They take your whole fucking body and you won't see that fucking soul that was originally put in that vessel. You feel me? You won't ever see that shit again. And that's what these niggas is doing, right? So, some people had to go to the Risha route. This is why I don't fuck with Egypt, because they all on some bullshit. They all on some bullshit that contradicts them, first of all. They all on some bullshit. And if you utilize those Arishas and shit like that, that those ancestries use, then you realize that they are selling their fucking soul. Though every religion is rooted in astrology and chakras, even the Orishas, if you look up every zodiac sign of every Orisha, that means you're tapping into those parts of your natal chart, actually, and you're trying to utilize a deity to do that. So therefore, you connecting to the your natal chart using a third third party, and you're not even aware of your natal chart. You feel me? You're tapping into different planets, with, which planets deals with experiences. So any experience you have, you have a specific characteristic trait and a characteristic response towards that experience. So for niggas to utilize that and, niggas, and the way how individuals be selling their soul to that shit, right? To those deities and shit like that. They do it, they do it through... They do it through praying to these Orishas and shit like that. So basically that is a way of how they kind of sell their soul because they are utilizing a third party individual to get involved with their own natal chart, you hear me? So they can tap into those specific energies that they have in them, that they was born with in that specific alignment that the universe created, that the creator create, create for you. But they using deities to do that shit. You feel me? And then they give credit to, oh, Mama Hoya came through. They be like, Mama Hoya came through. Oh, Oshun provided me these blessings and all that shit. Benedictions and shit like that. Benedictions and gifts and opportunities and shit like that. Man! That's the same shit that they doing with Jesus. They do the same shit like that. The only thing that I respect from that aspect is is the fact that they are kind of implementing the spiritual world into the physical. And they're building a physical foundation for the spiritual. That's why they, this physical world exists. It's so you can build a spiritual foundation in the physical. Right? You got to build a spiritual foundation and a physical foundation. And the physical foundation has to represent the spiritual foundation. That's all you got to really do with that. And that's why I respect about niggas that is actually praying to Orishas or praying to whatever deity. That's the only shit that I respect. But other than that, I don't really... I don't really fuck with it. I wouldn't fuck with it. I would try to steer people away from it or actually explain to them what cons, pros and cons comes with that. You feel me? 